Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Visionary Voices 2.0. Today we have with us Mr. Harish Etri. Sir has over 30 years of experience and he is currently the managing director and founder at Ecube Investment Advisors. We are glad to have you over here with us. Thank you. So I would like to ask you a few questions. The first being that as someone with experience in finance, governance and sustainability, what are the most critical skills that you feel that an MBA graduate should have to develop their drive to sustainable business practices? Well, I think uh, we are facing a very challenging world going forward. Uh, climate is a key issue and sustainability is something that we need to do. The first thing an MBA graduate should do is from a sustainability perspective is to practice it in his or her personal life. Try to be less wasteful in anything and everything you do. I think that's a mantra that I would uh, recommend. Obviously, we are also facing a very uncertain world where things are changing constantly with new technology, new, new ways of doing. And uh, therefore, continuous learning is another important aspect that an MBA uh, should practice and uh, keep on going. What you know today, what you've learned on campus is useful right now. But the world is changing so fast that you need to keep on learning new skills, new ways of uh, thinking and be adaptive to newer ways of uh, working. Right, sir. So my second question to you would be, how can companies balance their financial growth and long-term sustainable goals? And what role do you think management and leadership play into it? See, management and leadership is the key for any action by a corporate. So they, they have to play the key role in any uh, as such action. Now, you, you can look at uh, aspects like environment, society and governance, ESG, uh, from two lenses. One, okay, this is a cost. This is uh, going to eat away my profits. And therefore, should I do it or not do it? Look at it from an, another lens. Uh, environment, you look, look at it as if it is efficiency. So the more efficient you are, the better it is for an environment and better it is for your balance sheet. And society is people around you, people who are working for you. You treat them well, you ensure they are in good shape. Uh, it makes sense. So I think if you look at it as a conflicting thing that what we do for sustainability is opposite of what we need for the balance sheet, then it's a challenge. If you see or get them both aligned, then you are in a great shape. And that's the way to think about it in the future. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, everyone. And stay tuned.